Montecito in the color Sienna Spice. This is a new style by Beltress and was sent to me by Name Brand Wigs for my review. Montecito is a low density, straight, I'm hesitant to call it mid-length, but it's kind of mid-length, but it really is going to depend on your measurements because this could hover above your shoulders, which I feel like it just grazes mine in spots, so it's kind of mid-length to a little bit shorter. This is a fantastic wig, and I'm going to tell you right from the beginning, I don't have anything bad to say about this wig. It, it looks so natural. I love the cut. I love all the movement and the flips and it's heat friendly. So if you don't like the flip up, you can make it curl under. It's just a great length. You can tuck it behind your ear. You could wear it half up and half down. It's just so good. And I'm gonna start right off by talking about this color, Sienna Spice. Oh my gosh, I did not think that Beltress could do any better than Sumptuous Strawberry. And now they came out with this color. I love it. It is that just happy, cheery, bright, orangey red color. And there's no root. All of us natural redheads that just want a red color through and through with no root, they did it. I love it. I love Sumptuous Strawberry too. I'm not against a root. I mean, it, it just kind of comes with wearing wigs. A lot of red colors come with a root. I don't have dark hair that I dyed red. I have naturally strawberry blonde hair. I don't need a root. I don't need dimension. I just need a natural red color. I love this. This is, if I turned up the volume on my natural hair color, this is what it would be. My natural hair color, it's that golden strawberry blonde. And as I get older, it fades and it's getting more toward the blonde color. If I were to go and get color put into my hair, this is exactly what I would want. I just love it. Let's talk about the hair fibers and permatease. These hair fibers are fine. This wig is very low density. There is no permatease, and Beltress is kind of known for not having permatease. It's just very natural looking. If this would have been around when I was first shopping for wigs, I might have been done. I mean, it is so natural looking. talking about how low density it is, you can get some volume if you want to get into product and you want to fluff these up. Maybe take your hot air brush and get some heat underneath this these layers because there are layers. You could get a little bit of volume even as low density as it is, but you're going to get into heat and product. And honestly, I just think it's so pretty. I haven't done anything to it. Let's talk about the measurements on Montecito. This piece was sent to me by Name Brand Wigs so that I could do this review. So on their website, it says that the sides are 13 inches, 
the nape is four inches and then it says overall it's 13 inches. It also says that it weighs 3.7 ounces and honestly, that sounds too heavy to me. This wig is so light. I feel like the average wig weight is around four ounces. It's under four ounces, but it just feels like nothing on your head. It is definitely a wear all day, every day kind of style. Definitely a workhorse wig. This layering around the face is gonna make it so that if you're working or if you're eating, it's not going to get in your face. It does have these flippies right here that can want to flip up. I just flip those away and I just use my fingers to do it. Let's talk about this cap. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. Beltress wigs always fit me well. I have a wig grip on for the sake of doing this wig review, but I don't have to wear one. This is a very well fitting wig. And Beltress caps, no matter the style that I get, they all fit me well. They have a reliable fit. I never have any issues. Montecito has a mono part and there's a decent parting space. Gives you a little bit of room to, if you wanna go a little bit more toward the center. The lace front, Beltress has a really nice lace front. They take that lace front all the way back to the ear tab. They have soft covered ear tabs with metal stays, extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and then otherwise the machine sewn open wefted cap. Lots of stretch, very comfortable. These are great caps. Like every wig, I grab on to the nape and I let that lace front hit me about mid forehead. Dive in over your occipital bone, flip it back, and then you just wanna get either four fingers or wherever your hairline is, and then get the ear tabs, fold the metal stays, so you get that snug fit, and then you're done. Okay, so I've talked about the cap, the color, the measurements, the hair fibers and the permatease. My overall thoughts about Montecito, I love it. I think this is a fabulous wig. I love the low density. I love the color. I love the fit of the cap. The lace front is beautiful. They just did a fabulous job. So this has been Montecito by Beltras in the color, Sienna Spice. You know what to do if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and do a little chit chat down in the comments. I would love to know what you think about Montecito, and if you have it, tell us more about it. Okay, I will see you in my next video.